guys, welcome back to NF Thins. But for today's video, we are going to show you how to fix Steel Series sonar not detecting headset. So if you're interested, let's get started. So there are going to be a few things that you can try here to probably solve this issue. So the first thing you want to do here is you want to check your default device. Now in this case, uh, there might be some settings here that you haven't uh, set up properly. So what you need to do is you need to go ahead and basically look for the speaker icon at the bottom right of your screen. And you want to right click on it and access the option for sound settings. Now in this window, you want to scroll down until you see the option here that says more sound settings. So in this case, just scroll down a bit here and you want to look for more sound settings. So typically it's going to be at the very bottom. So let's go ahead and click on more sound settings. And from here, what we need to do is we need to set things up here. So what we need to do is you want to find your headset. So usually it's going to be under playback. And what you need to do is you just need to right click on it. And from then on, you want to go ahead and just set that, set this as your default device. So in this case, setting this uh, as your default device here can help you solve this issue. So go ahead and do that and click on apply at the bottom right here and see if that solves the issue. Now, another thing that you could do here is basically restart your Steel Series software. So, you need to close it completely. So, how do you exactly do that? So, you want to go and press Control Shift Escape on your keyboard, and that should open up your Task Manager. Now, under Task Manager, you want to go and look for the actual software. In this case, it's going to be Steel Series GG software. In this case, just go ahead and scroll down on it, and you want to go and right click on it, and just basically click on End Task. Now, typically, once you've done this, this will uh, basically restart the app itself. So go ahead and open it up again. Again, see if that solves the issue. Now, also, you might want to uh, restart your PC. So this is an alternative way that you could do instead of just closing it on your task manager. Maybe restarting your PC can actually help. But in this case, that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to NFT Inspo. Thank you for watching.